The chick is approximately two and a half weeks old, just now getting its first set of feathers. We discovered that there was monofilament fishing line dispersed throughout the nest fibers and both of the legs of the young chick entangled were both tangled together and each individually so it was hopelessly entangled. No chance it would have ever been freed on its own and the fishing line had already begun to cut circulation off of both of its legs. They're full grown at six weeks in the nest but they don't leave the nest for eight to ten weeks of age so it's got a long way to go yet. We've inspected the nest and removed all the monofilament lines so no further entanglement can occur. We've removed the little youngster from his nest for medical treatment. He may have a broken toe. We hope the swelling goes down in his legs and that he returns full function to both legs and can be returned to the wild. It was the smallest of three chicks up in the nest with a very good set of parents feeding it. So will he be coming back to this nest or someplace else? It depends how soon he can come back to this nest based on how quickly he recovers and how quickly his brothers are ready to fledge or fly from the nest. We don't want to disturb them and force them off, so time will tell. We'll know more in about 10 days. I'd give him an 80% chance to go back to the wild today. Monofilament fishing line gets introduced to an osprey nest when someone cuts the line or breaks the line of their active fishing and the mom catches that fish trailing that fishing line bringing it right back to the nest and her young. So mom brought it home and then... Unknowingly. It's a big problem for osprey. So I remind people if you're fishing, don't discard your fishing line improperly. Get it disposed of where it can entangle wildlife. Thanks to you and to the city of Coeur d'Alene and the, the electric company, I should say. It takes a village to rescue a baby osprey. <laughs> <laughs>